Hello! Sorry, I had to make sure that my fucking... I had to make sure that I actually unmuted my mic. Because <laughs> I think I did, I did that last week. Ah! Hello! How's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome! Oh, happy Monday. It is indeed the start of another week. <laughs> Ow! Jeez, what the fuck? <laughs> Ow! Fucking coming in hot! <laughs> Kanu, how you doing? It's been a bit. How you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Happy hauntings. You so quiet? Am, am I? Am I? Am I actually? Am I actually quiet or are you fucking with me? Are you fucking with me? Are you fucking with me? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, OBS is coming in. OBS is coming in pretty okay. OBS says I'm in okay. Hold on. Am I actually? Am I actually quiet? How quiet are we talking here? Like, uh, let's see. I'm gonna bump just a smidge. Hellos, hellos, hellos. How's that sound? Sounds okay to me? Okay. <laughs> God. I am, like, dude, I am, I am absolutely the most paranoid fucking person on the, on the planet. When it comes to fucking audio levels, like, not even joking. Sounds okay to me. I'll adjust my side of touch. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm looking at my OBS readings, and it's looking... Looks okay? Looks alright? Um, I can probably, like, adjust it just a... Just a smidge. There we go. Uh, and Purple Polecat, hello! Hello to you as well! Thank you as well for swinging on by! Hope you're also having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, it is indeed the start of another work week, but just gotta take it one day at a time. Just gotta take it one frightful day at a time. Uh, but I hope everyone is doing well. What's in store tonight, my ghastly fiend? Well, tonight, we are going to be looking to finish Nightmare of Decay. We started it uh, this past Friday, and it's a very interesting game. It's very interesting. Like, you can absolutely spot the Resident Evil inspirations. Even to, like, the first introduction to a zombie, it almost like it came straight out of their playbook <laughs> on the same at the, at the same time it, it is it does add enough uh, modern conveniences uh, to where to make it and enough story elements to ensure that it's not just a one-to-one -one ripoff it's actually it's still doing its own thing but it absolutely wears its inspirations on its sleeve so we're in the last section and going to be looking to finish that up tonight. And I was taking a peek at some of the achievements on Steam. And apparently, there's a bunch of stuff that you unlock once you beat the game. So, we'll get to that in due time. <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, but, for that. but for the moment, how are you all doing? How's your day? How have your days been? Uh, how, how was your weekend's... Were you able to uh, relax some? Were you able to get anything done? Uh, I've okay. So I'm trying to. I wasn't able to do this do it this weekend, but my friends in my D and D group are getting on my ass. <laughs> I haven't gotten caught up with One Piece. Like, I'm trying to find time to actually sit down, put some episodes on, and be able to start getting caught up. I think I, I, I made an attempt once. I made an attempt once, years ago. Uh, and I think I got up to, like, episode uh, 100 or something like that. And I just kind of fell off from there. <laughs> because... 
it, stuff. I got distracted by a bunch of other stuff. How far behind are you? Are you? P pretty far behind at this point. Oh. There's like a thousand now. Yeah, no, I've been seeing the bits and pieces that have cropped up on uh, Twitter, and from what I've heard, we're at fucking Dragon Ball Z levels of fucking combat sequences. Shit's fucking getting crazy, apparently, so... <laughs> oh... Kind of want to watch it, but it's a commitment. It is, it's an absolute commitment. That's why I'm trying to... It's trying to figure out how I can best plan, like try to make a game plan on as to not necessarily how, like what, like how to watch it, but just what, where can I set the time aside to watch it? Because uh, I, I can probably set it up to where if I can watch like maybe an episode every other day and then do a bit of a binge on maybe like Sunday and Saturday afternoons or maybe even like set it up in the mornings or something like that uh, like Saturday or Sunday mornings when I don't have to worry when I don't have to worry about getting wait, ready for work and shit uh, watching monster right now which is just 70 episodes I'm not really familiar with that show I'm not really too familiar with that one actually um, uh, what is that one about? What is, I'm curious. What is what's that one about? Uh, heard that there's a version out there with all the story and a lot of the filler cut out. I believe that was called One Pace. Uh, yeah, because um, I don't know how far they got on that one, on that project. But yeah, the objective with that one was to uh, cut down the f cut down on the filler. A new um, mortal has hey! found oh. the cemetery. The cemetery. Enjoy your yeah, nah. Okay, you can you can fuck right on off there. You can fuck right on off there. <laughs> That's a bot. That's a bot. That's a bot. <laughs> got me got me excited for a moment there. Uh, hopefully. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Last time we got like several of those. There were like a couple. Uh, like, I think it was last month actually. Was it last month or two months ago? I think it was two months ago. Yeah, there was one time where we got several of those bots coming in in one session, in a single session, and hopefully we're not getting a repeat of that. Because uh, I know people are, amp like, some nefarious individuals are amping up their harassment efforts. Uh... uh Thriller anime set in Germany. A doctor is chasing a serial killer. Huh. I feel like I may have heard about it at some point, but I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Not really sure when exactly. I may have to look that up, because I feel like I've heard of it at some point, but I can't really recall when. I may have to look that up. I may have to look that up. <laughs> yeah, I've honestly kind of fallen a lot on a lot of anime in general like I, I although I did finish uh, Jojo's part six recently and I didn't realize that it gives the explanation for the timeline shift for the series going forward so when I put that together my mind just got fucking blown <laughs> and now I'm trying to get caught up on uh, a Gretsuko season five and uh, that I got to the episode, uh, certain episode where I wanted to punch. I I was actually I was getting pissed, <laughs> like not the bad piss, but like story storyline pissed. In that, oh my God, these characters are so fucking terrible. I want to punch them in the face. <laughs> so it's got I got I got to that point of the season. Um, I got like four episodes left on that. Um, so, I think once I clear those, then I may try to start giving one piece of shot, uh, another shot again. Looks outside for a doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, that's not really true, but I mean, they'll still come after you, but <laughs> if a doctor really wants to get at you, they will find a way to get at you. 
uh, JoJo's and Agretzko are great. They really are. They really are. I mean, I've heard a couple people complaining about the la last season, but I wasn't really sure of the context. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I still got four episodes left on the Agretzko season. Um, and then I think that show is done after that. I think the show is, like, done now. Um, so, I, I'll have to see how that everything pans out on that front. Depends on how hard you throw the apple. Fair, fair, fair. Also, probably your aim. <laughs> probably also how how good your aim is. <laughs> uh, uh, are there any other, any other like anime shows that I should be looking out for right now? Um, anything else that's like out that might be worth looking into? Because I think I still got Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Uh, bookmarked on Netflix. Um, I don't know. If, I just don't. I I've kind of fallen completely out of the fucking scene as of as of late. Uh, the cyberpunk anime is amazing. I've heard like nothing but good things about the anime to the point where people are actually actually going back to. Cyberpunk 2077, the game, and actually going back to revisit it, and then they realize, oh right, Cyberpunk's a broken, fu broken fucking mess. <laughs> uh, Chainsaw Man is great. Oh God, oh yeah, I forgot about Chainsaw Man. I completely forgot about Chainsaw Man. Um, okay. Oh, but that's only available on Crunchyroll, right? If that if it's only available on Crunchyroll, oh jeez, yeah, I, 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 honestly, I'd rather not even give Crunchyroll any traffic at all. They're just a fucking terrible company that does that is will look for any excuses excuse possible to not pay either pay their translators, they won't pay their voice actors, and it's like what gods, it's fuck that fuck Crunchyroll, fuck Crunchyroll, um. God, so I wanted I wanted to get caught up on like the Mob Psychos uh, season, Mob Psycho season two and three, but I'd rather not do it through Crunchyroll at the very least. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. That's probably the gonna have to be the solution. Just gotta grab a grab a grab my uh, pirate hat and go sail the high seas. <laughs> it's honestly been a long time since I've had to go that route, but. You know how it's funny, like, like, with the advent of streaming software meant, like, people didn't have to rely on piracy as much, but now we're at a point where there's just, like, 50 billion different streaming platforms, and they all suck. So now we're just kind of looping right back around to dusting off the pirate hats again. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to. I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to get back on that train, aren't I? Think I have a few safe sites for you. I'll vet, vet them again and let you know. Hey, appreciate that. I really appreciate that because I've been out of the game for a bit. I've been getting out of the game. I've been out of the game for the bit, for a bit. Um, outside of uh, Pirate Bay, like I don't really know any other uh, places to really get and check out at and check to really check. Hey, Krugel Dairy, hello, hello, how you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Happy hauntings, and I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. How you doing? How was your weekend? We were talking about anime, because I'm falling way behind on what's, like, watchable these days. <laughs> Akiba Maid Wars is great, too. I'm not familiar with that. Okay, I need to check what this is. I need to check this because I, I, I have concerns. I have concerns about what this, what this could possibly be about. Uh, da, 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 da. okay, dark comedy yakuza girl. Oh, I think I have heard about this one actually. I've heard it's kind of eh, but. The subject matter is definitely 
different, I guess? It looks weird. Yeah, it's like, these. if I remember correctly, it's about these people that work in the maid cafe, but they're actually like in a fem all-female Yakuza group or something like that. From what I heard, I think I remember hearing it's like really bizarre. <laughs> Uh, usually use Nya.si for anime plunder. I may need to double check that. Haven't been able to watch anime for myself in a hot minute. Yeah, same. Like, I have my choice shows that I usually go back to, but I haven't really gone out of my way to pick up any new shows because, well, it's like, I've ranted about anime shows in the past and how the current anime industry is just a conveyor belt of shit. Um, as I like to describe it, so I haven't really gone hunting for any new shows to watch in a while. Watch the OP and you'll know if it's good to you. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Because uh, I've heard that show g g is really bizarre. In, uh, and just bizarre and pretty wild in its subject matter. Or subject matter. Oh, man. But yeah, One Piece is probably gonna. I'm gonna have to try and make t make time for One Piece. Like try to set up an. I have to try and set up a watch schedule for that. Um, cause yeah, there's a lot to go through, <laughs> and I'm and I know that if I don't at least start on it by the time we meet up again for our next D and D session, I'm gonna hear about it. <laughs> oh. Saturated with isekai and horny. Oh, yeah, no, like those are the well cuz it's cuz those are the stuff that sells That's the stuff that sells the most and you, Why bother trying to fucking make a creative story when you can just recycle the same fucking tropes at infi infinity <laughs> uh. Yeah, and the fan service. Like, I think it was like a, it was a threat. There was a Twitter thread. That was for someone. I think I responded to that. That someone was asking about, um, there's people's stances on uh, fan service, and my my stance on it is like fan service has a time and a place. Like, I I grew up on watching some shows that were pretty like the old '90s anime that has had their fair share of fan service, but at the same time, like. One of my favorite shows growing up was uh, Tenchi Universe, and that show has its fair share of fan service, but at the same time, it's not, like, forced onto you every single fucking episode, you know? <laughs> it, like, it, it, it manages to find its place. Golden Boy is another good example. Like, Golden Boy is a super fucking good show. Uh, Golden Boy is such a good fucking show, and that show also has its fair share of fan service, but at the same time, all of the female characters are portrayed just magnificently like they all have their own like uh, talents and personality traits and they're all presented in like the bet led like, exactly how they should be presented like it's like very talented skilled powerful women and there's the actual fan service in that show is played up in a way to sh like remind the viewer hey by the way, your protagonist, yeah, he's super smart, he's super skilled, he's super talented, he picks up on things really quick. He's also a fucking degenerate. <laughs> oh. Golden Boy is exactly the right level of horny. Exactly, exactly. The dub is fucking hilarious, too. I, I absolutely recommend the dub. It just goes above and beyond. <laughs> oh. And yeah... Oh god, it's the fucking anime. The fucking titles is ju are just getting worse by the worse these days as well. Yeah, like the example. I'm being a dumb loser, but somehow still getting ten girlfriends in another world. Or, uh, god, it's like, I, eventually we're just gonna get fucking anime titles. Like, I st I slipped on a brick and fell down a flight of stairs, and all of a and then I got transported into a fantasy world where somehow all of these women. Are wanting my dick, and I gotta, and I have to go through all of these dungeons in order to level up to get stronger, so I can impress all of these women that are jumping on my dick, and I gotta be able to get strong enough to f beat the final boss, so that I can prove that I'm not a lonely loser like I was in the previous world. 
while all these women are still jumping on my dick and I don't know how to do anything about it because I'm socially awkward like I was in the previous world, but here I'm a superhero practically and super and hum humongously overpowered. <laughs> we're like, it gets to the point where we're getting those kind of fucking titles. <laughs> and I wish I was joking. <laughs> Like, every time a new fucking Itzikai comes out, and it, the title of it is practically a fucking paragraph, I'm just like, yeah, you're not, you're, you're not even trying anymore. You're not even fucking trying. And why should they try? Fucking, all they have to do is just cater to the fucking, the, the biggest otaku crowds that they can, and the, they are willing to just throw what, whatever money they have on the the licensing figures, or the model figures and whatnot, for their hot glue photos and whatnot, and they can fucking make their money back instantly. <sighs> Sorry. I'm ranting again, aren't I? <laughs> I have thoughts about the anime industry! I have many thoughts about the anime industry! <laughs> oh, I have many thoughts about the anime industry. I saw a post on Twitter earlier that uh, um, there was an idol, I think it was an idol voice actress that actually put out a, a notice for an upcoming meet and greet, I think it was. I forget what the specifics were, but the main little tidbit was she was making, specifically making a, a request for attendance to uh, make sure that they shower before coming to the meet and greet. The, excuse me. Yeah. She, they actually put out a notice asking for attendants to make sure that they shower before coming to the meet and greet. Which, <laughs> I mean, it's good that, like, it's good that they're actually taking a stance on it. Because, yeah, it, it, it's, it's been a problem for a bit. It's been a problem for a hot minute. Idol culture is gross. Gods, yeah, no, don't even, don't even get me started about that shit. Like, I gonna try to avoid getting started on how creepy and fucking absurd idol culture is because that's a whole fucking another like 30 minute rant right there <laughs> oh the worst part is some of the worst parts of idol culture is seeped into v vtuber culture as well and i'm just like i just i i'm just i just want to play the spooky stuff <laughs> i just want to be a spooky per i just want to be a spooky lad doing spooky things like keep keep that keep that idol stuff as far away from me as possible <laughs> hmm. i'm here to ruin your stream no <laughs> well i probably already ruined things by ripping on the anime industry <laughs> ah, i fired in the chat box now no one will come oh no Oh, oh my god. Why would you do that? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> Have you seen Devil Man Cry Baby? That was really me. Dude, I loved Devil Man Cry Baby. I loved Devil Man Cry Baby. And fun fact, I actually contributed to a uh, Devil Man manga bridged project. <laughs> I contributed, I voiced in, uh, I voiced uh, Masa Bokuto in a uh, Devil Man uh, manga bridge, like the original Devil Man manga. And that was really fun. It was a really fun fun project. <laughs> uh, one of the earliest um, abridging uh, voice uh, voice thing, voice projects I contributed in. Yeah, and it was actually last year when they, uh, the finale of that went up. And it was a really well put together finale. Like, it was still, it was it's very much still an abridged project, but Everyone definitely gave it their gave it their all, and the it was shown the the ending scene in particular was shown the respect that very much deserved. <laughs> I love ripping on anime. Oh man, <laughs> we we need to have a rant. We need to have a rant off sometime. We need to have a rant off sometime then, Zomburb. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Devilman Crybaby though. That show is so fucking good. Like, it's like you like. I've had like 
I've had some uh, some of smaller exposures to like the Devil Man franchise in the past, and Devil when I realized that Devil Man Cry Baby was essentially like a retelling of sorts of the original, I was like, ooh, okay, all right, let's see what we got here, and especially because of how Devil Man ends. Um, spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't watched the original Devil Man series or read the original manga, but essentially, Devil Man ends with the um, god essentially hitting the cosmic the cosmic reset button. <laughs> so when you think take that into consideration, it's like okay, retelling a retelling of that story is actually kind of an interesting way to come about that because now we get the mo more modern look at it as well. Right now, rant at me. <laughs> We're gonna, we got, if we, if I start ranting now, then we won't get to the game. We won't get to the game tonight. We gotta be able to get to the game at some point tonight. Hey, Randy, how you doing? How you doing, Randy? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Oh, uh, hope you are doing well and happy, t happy, that terrifyingly pleasant time zone. I get my words mixed around. Hmm. But yeah, no, like Devil Man Crybaby it does good in that it starts when it starts it makes you think that it's gonna be like a kind of a superhero show, and then the depress then the depressing arc hits in. Then the de then the depression arc kicks in in full fucking blast. <laughs> and it gets really dark really quickly. I still remember when the fucking running animation was the, the fucking they showed the running animation for like the devil characters <laughs> and that and that instantly became a meme it, uh it's just cuz it's just such a bizarre running running cycle and the animation also it kind of like exemplified that whole thing <laughs> how ridiculous it was I know that was a big meme for a bit oh uh... Just chatting, but it's only anger-induced rage and rants. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't done a full stream like that, but I feel like I just absolutely destroy my throat more than it already gets at some to at some points. <laughs> I feel like maybe that's why I, I just... Yeah, I think that... You know, maybe that's what we should do sometime, like Zomburb. Like, just have a back-to-back -back <laughs> of just ranting about the anime industry like when you get your full like model done when you get your full model ready then we should do that <laughs> oh reason i subbed and ran last time was i was uh was, okay couldn't say no worries no worries no worries randy no worries <laughs> oh i appreciate you sub swinging on by either way oh my god but yeah, um, hmm. but yeah, if you haven't watched Double Man Cry Baby, you, like, yo, absolutely go ahead and check that out. You don't need to have watched the original series um, to to enjoy it. At the same, but if you have seen it prior, then you probably recognize more of the some more familiar elements to it. It it just gets dark. It gets super dark. It gets super brutal. And you will probably be super depressed at the end of it. So, full disclosure on that. Full disclosure on that. <laughs> uh, now nah, then. With that said, like, uh, now nah, that, like, speaking of, uh, we're talking. I'm losing my words here again. again. There we go, get it all out of my system. There you go. <laughs> Imagine if, just, if I just did this for like several minutes at a time, just. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head out and attempt to sleep. Have the most horrid evening, my main ghoul. No worries, Canoe. No worries, Canoe. You have a good rest and pleasant nightmares. Pre appreciate you swinging on by. Switch to Opera GX and work. It's great. I okay. So the main thing there was like two things that prevented me from giving Opera a shot. Um, one, the fact that it was advertised by PewDiePie, and I absolutely hate PewDiePie. Like, well, I'm sure he's 
well, he's kind of questionable as a human being in, ge in general, um, for a lot of things. On uh, his, his, his content, just fucking, I don't understand his content as uh, either. I don't understand his content um, either. So that was the first thing. And then the second thing was, I think Opera was, uh, the opera was catering to fucking crypto bros for a bit. So that other, that was also like, uh, yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> keep that, keep that shit away from me as far as possible. <laughs> April Fool's joke. You pretend like you said important shit while doing that. Like in that SpongeBob episode. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. That'd be a good bit. Yeah, kind of is putting it lightly. Yeah. <laughs> Just pull a peanuts and go wah 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 wah. Yeah, there you go. Like if it need, they try just in, in, imagine this entire stream just going wah 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 wah. Someone has had, had to have done that at some point, right? Someone that had to has to have been someone that did that at some point. <laughs> oh man. All right. With that said, with that said, let's. With that said, let's see if we can go ahead and get started on our game of the evening. As I mentioned, we are going to be shooting to finish Nightmare of Decay this evening, and it's we're in the last area. We're in the last area, so it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see what other Resident Evil aspects that we can recognize first off, but also to see how everything like pans out how the remaining parts of the encounter like if we run into a fucking lab if we run into a fucking science lab that's underneath the mansion then we're i'm just like okay yeah no just full-on resident evil at this point <laughs> uh yeah yeah gaming time gonna get on over here all right uh, also, like, I'm. Let me know how some of the uh stream el like uh, some of the uh stream quality elements are because uh VTube Studio uh released an update earlier that is implemented a uh, Sprout to uh capture, which is apparently uh a type of capture that is significantly less uh CPU intensive than regular um capture. Um, I think it's like, uh, cause I was using it like game capture at, at first. So I figured, eh, let's give this a shot and see, let's see how, see how smoother it is. And it's supposed to be a lot less like use almost like minimal CPU, uh, by comparison. Um, so giving it a shot, let me know how it looks. If it's, if it starts getting jank, then I can always go back to just regular game capture. <laughs> All right. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Gonna lurk and work on a grind session for my Destiny 2 character. No worries, no worries. Enjoy your lurk. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's see, you say it should still be roughly the same as previous, right? Hello? Oh, where's the capture? Oh, wait. Oh, I know why. There we go. That's the, that's why. <laughs> that's why I hit them both last time. Okay. Audio's there. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Let's see. This was this was the last save. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, and then these two kind of took each other. Excuse me. These those two took each other out. Uh, okay, so there was like a number of things I could go into. There was a number of directions I could go in. Uh, there was a number of directions I could go in. Um, so I think... Oh, God. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. Where can I even go? Is this open? Okay. Yeah, okay. It's going to take a sec. Actually, we want to go this way. Because it was a couple of rooms that I wanted to check out last time. But I was primarily focused on finding a stopping point. Also, I'm hearing a lot of whispering. What the? Ew. 
<laughs> Ew. Oh, right. Before I uh, forget. Yeah, before I forget. Before I forget. Uh, Gotta remember to switch the stream category. There we go. <laughs> I remembered, eventually. Okay. So, we got a couple of rooms over here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, what could this be? Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh! What the fuck? Skeleton boy, yes! <laughs> oh my fucking hell. I can't believe we got skeleton warriors. Good evening, someone. Hope you're having a ghoulish time tonight. Hello, Sylvie. How you doing? Oh, thank you so much for swinging on by. Hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> Uh, do that one guy, Skeletor. Oh, man, my Skeletor is not great. Uh, but... Oh, God, how's it go again? Nyaaah! Oh, God. Okay, I gotta try to, like, do a couple of the... Nyaaah! Nyaaah! There we go. I gotta kind of, like, str strain myself a little bit. Nyaaah! Uh, there are 24 bones in your hand. Oh, is it? Tw like... How many was it? Uh, yeah, tw there's 27 bones in your hand. 28 if you're lonely. Yeah! <laughs> My, uh, it's not great. It's not the best impression, but <laughs> I don't feel it's, I don't feel like it's the best impression. Oh, this is a big old area right here. This is a big old area. Perfect. Aw. <laughs> I need to work on my voices more. It's perfect. I love it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need to work on my voices. I, I, I've, I feel like I've kind of fallen, fallen off. Okay, there you guys are. There you all are. Okay. Actually, hold on. I has crossbow, right? Oh, that's the holy water. Wait, where's my crossbow? Or not crossbow. Crowbar. Let me see. Oh. Cool. Oh, okay. This isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. Okay, crowbar isn't working. Crowbar isn't working. Crowbar isn't working. Okay, never mind. This is my mistake. Okay, crowbar is not as good as I thought it was. Crowbar is not as good as I thought it was. Noted. <laughs> what you doing? Dying. <laughs> Dying. That's what we're doing. <laughs> How you doing, Tango? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Uh, happy haunting, so I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Okay. Thankfully, we didn't lose too much progress. Thankfully, we didn't lose too much progress. Oh, you are a quick one. There we go. That was a quick little bugger right there. Hope you're doing well, Tango. <laughs> you are not the true Morgan Freeman. Yep, nope. I, 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 there is no way I could hand, hand, carry Morgan Free, Freeman's mantle or hazmat suit, I guess. <laughs> he made a choice and it was not a good one. Nope, mis mi nope. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Like it's probably like crowbar is probably better in like individual zombies rather than dealing with more than one at a time. Man, you are 
roll and just, ooh, there we go. That was a good headshot right there. There we go. All right, that's more like it. Eh, eh, eh. Just, just stick, push the, push the head further in the water. Just, and just hook, stab you in the butt. Just stab you in the, in the butt for good measure. Just extra butt stabs for good measure. <laughs> oh, always mortifyingly wonderful, my friend. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. <laughs> uh, okay, there's gonna be some bullshit around here. Eh. All right. Oh, there it, there it is. Okay. Oh, and what? We got a naked one. We got a naked one. Oh, there's... How, wait, how many are there? Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there's... I don't know if that's still gonna work. Hey! Still worked. Ooh. Oh, look at all the giblets. Look at all the giblets. Delicious, delicious giblets. Oh, you are very naked. You are very naky. <laughs> uh, be right back, gotta do some cleaning. No worries, no worries. Enjoy your lurk and enjoy your cleaning escapades. I need to do some cleaning around here myself, actually. There's been, I need to kind of clean some dust off of some of the, some parts of the mausoleum. Health, health kit, shotgun. Anything else around here? Anything else? Hello? Anyone else else want any? Oh, hello! Oh, that's a that oh that's a that's a that's a big boy. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh that's a big boy. Oh okay. Okay. Fuck. Oh my fuck. Oh, you're a regenerator! How do I kill you? How do I kill you? How do I kill you? Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we got regenerators. Oh no. Oh no. We just, we just straight up have regenerators now. Son of a fuck. <laughs> oh, that is, that's not gonna be fun. That's not gonna be fun. Use the wrong formula and still got the right answer. <laughs> hey, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. That's the important part. Okay, I got a couple holy waters left, so I may need to pull one of those out next time I see one. The moment of pure terror when the limbs grow back gets hit by a tense PTSD of Dead Space Hunter. Oh, God, no. Like, th these are straight up. At these are enemies are just straight up taken out of Resident Evil 4 because there's, there's an enemy type called the Regenerator that you encounter oh jeez okay uh okay i think i can take th these ones out uh oh there we go yeah hey two for one fuck yeah let's go but yeah like resident evil 4 has the regenerator enemies that are insanely difficult to take down and you only get the surefire method when you get the uh, the uh, heat signature scope. And that allows you to be able to target the Las Plagas that's in the regenerator bodies. So you target those, and that's the fastest way to kill them. Otherwise, you ha end up spending, like, a using up a bunch of fucking ammo, just essentially wearing them down bit by bit. Uh, only in this game, I don't think we, I don't have a, 
I don't have an infrared scope that I can use here. Uh. All right, old newspaper clipping. Mass murder at Haunted Manor. Irma Hertshaw, Hertshaw, wife to prominent businessman William Hertshaw, and their many live-in servants have been found murdered at a manor known to locals as being haunted. The bodies of the servants were brutally mutilated, and Irma Hertshaw was found decapitated in her bed. William Hertshaw, the main suspect of this heinous crime, has gone missing as, and is believed to be on the run. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought the person that, uh, that we encountered that unalived was the Lord William. Maybe it was someone else then, unless, unless the, they never really found him. Oh, I'm hearing Corey. Well, that's always fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's a fun time. That's, uh, like, just, just a, just news about an entire estate just getting absolutely murdered always a fun story to read up on I'm hearing some noises ooh ooh there's a thingy silver disc oh I think I need this okay I can almost guarantee that as soon as I pick that up shit's gonna fucking pop off so hope for the best ew 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 cockroaches alright like I'm hearing like I'm hearing things in the distance and I think it's just ambient noise but part of me is worried that something is actually going to pop out and try to munch my butt okay I think we're good I believe we're good. Also, Corey is throwing a fit. So, <laughs> Corey is throwing a fit. So, give me one quick sec while I see what she's wanting. One, one, one moment, please. All right. Corey is in the room. <laughs> Corey has decided to make her presence felt. Huh, Corey? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, my cat, Corey. My cat, Corey. <laughs> the uh, cat that the uh, Texas speech mascot is based off of. <laughs> She insists on making her presence known at any given opportunity. Ew, all these cockroaches. Like, give it a few minutes and she'll probably start crying out again. Wanting back out. Go ahead and do a save here. Since we got a thingamajig. Alright, and then we should be able to... Let's see, go through the circular slot, circular slot, circular slot. Lots of slots. Got a lot of slots and a lot of holes that need to be filled. Something can be placed Father, in Father, I desire for the outside world once again. <laughs> you literally just came in here. Literally just came in and came in. <laughs> Tom, hello! How you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Hope you are doing well. I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for something to try and pop up. Oh my god! Yes, I know, Corey. We have we have spooters. We have spooters. Oh boy. Okay. 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 We have spooters. We have spooters. This is. Oh. Oh fuck. Okay. All right. All right. This is happening now. Chat. 
get the flamer. No, the heavy flamer. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? This is gonna suck. Not usually the case, riding a wave. Hey, that's always good to hear. That's good to hear. Oh, I hear the skittering. I hear this. Oh, cinematic. Oh, you have another disc. Alright. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, big nopes. Big nopes. Pulling out the... I'm keeping the heavy artillery out. Keeping the heavy artillery out. Oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> okay. I tried doing the pistol and then it just started to run at me. It started running at me and then my meat and my next strategy was to just to go nope. 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 Ad dicks. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, this is happening. Oh god. Attack with a melee weapon. Ow. Oh my god. Oh my fuck. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Uh, okay, I got ten health, 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 or first aid kits. Oh, you need a bigger nope stick. <laughs> I need a, I need the biggest nope stick I can, I can find. Is that this? Okay. Okay. Oh my fuck. Oh, that's poison. Oh, I... Uh, eh. Ow! Oh my fuck! Okay, okay. Uh, health drinks. Jeez. Oh no 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 uh, no 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 no. Oh my. Okay. Just big nopes. Just big nopes. Big nopes. I'll take that shotgun though. <laughs> eh. Eh. Just making sure it stays down. Just make gotta make sure it stays down. Eh. 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 Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Also, yeah, and Corey is indeed throwing a fit again. <laughs> Cory, hey, come here. Cory, hey. I know, that was a scary thing. That was a scary encounter, wasn't it? Oh, I got you. I got you, Cory. Oh, I need a hug. I need a hug a cat. Hey, yo, you, 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 <laughs> Do you want to say hi to chat? 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 Yeah, now she clams up. <laughs> like, I don't know if she, you could hear her in the microphone just screaming, <laughs> wanting attention. Uh, but now she, she's got, she got what she's, she got what she was looking for. Yeah, you, you're getting attention. You're getting your attention now, aren't you? Yeah, you're getting your attention now, aren't you? Oh, all right. Let's go in. You're wanting out, right? You're wanting out, right? Uh. Oh. Hello, balls deep in a glass of milk. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that name. Oh, how you doing? Thank you for swinging on by. This game is called Nightmare of Decay. There we go. We got the thingy. We got the thingy. It is a very heavily 
uh, Resident Evil inspired survival horror game. <laughs> there we go. And we just took out a giant spooter. It was it, it, it was not great. <laughs> uh, all right, we got two holy waters. I feel like I should hold on to these. All right, there she is again. So, give me one quick sec. One sec. All right, I'm back. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right. Giant Spooter has been eliminated. Whew. Yeah, that one got that that got a little dicey. That got a little dicey there. Uh, let's see. We had two silver discs so far. Actually, oh gods, I think I, I think I know what I need to do now. I think I know what I need to do on as far as how to handle those discs now. Because I forgot I have to actually prep. I have to prep them. I have to like actually hold them on my person. There we go. So, oh, all that canceled that. Uh. Okay, we got two discs so far. So the first one, first one was over. Uh, that's the wrong direction. Uh, I am going in completely like every which way but the direction I need to go in. Okay, here we go. This was the first one. So there we go. Right, because I forgot that's how you kind of have to do it in this game. Golden tablet. Interesting. Ooh, there's some bullets and some dynamite. Uh, love Ari. <laughs> what story have I missed so far? So, um, the crux of the story is we're kind of going through a haunted mansion and kind of trying to piece together the mystery of how all of the inhabitants got absolutely fucking murderized and there we go get that ready and then we're kind of, all signs seem to be pointing to the lord of the home having an I'm it seems like there's some very heavy yes <laughs> Oh yeah, we've been doing a lot of that so far. We've been doing a lot of that. <laughs> How you doing, Pinky? How you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're there seems to be a, there's a lot of cultists around here apparently. And oh, that's a person. Are you? Oh, you're not in good shape, are you? <laughs> and Pinky, thank you as well for the. <laughs> Appreciate it. You see a heavily wounded man laying against the wall. He's just barely cl clinging on to life. <laughs> Please listen to me. There's a monstrous beast in the caves beyond that door. I tried to escape from it, but it was too fast. If you see it, don't try to fight it. Just run. Run from the beast. He has succumbed to his wounds. Well, sucks to be you. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Have you saved since Spooter? Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, now that you mention it. Because if there's some uh, 
big old big old monster coming around uh, and it's not the sexy variety then yeah probably be a good idea to go back and do a quick save after whoop what the fuck did I just hit did I just do that was weird huh apparently there's a fucking I guess there's a hotkey command for a voice mod that I'm hitting with that does this work by any chance? <laughs> huh, I didn't even know there was a hotkey for that. Huh, the more you know. <laughs> I was just pressing buttons, trying to sprint and do a bunch of other stuff, and apparently I just stumbled upon the voice mod hotkey. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to keep in mind. That's good to know, at the very least. <laughs> oh. Also, Kane, how you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Hope you are doing well and are having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. All right. So I said there's a big old monster in these caves. Oh, that's a big. Oh, that's a big ass cave system. That's a big cave system. All right, yeah, there, there's some shit. There's gonna be some shit in here. I'm hearing something in here as well. Matthew, hello, how you doing? Thank you so. Oh wait, oh oh oh. Ah, oh jeez. Okay. Oh there. Okay. It's not the big beastie, but that's still something to keep an eye on. That's still something to keep an eye on. Not the beastie I was looking, I was expecting. But uh, oh, and we got you all here down down here as well. Not decapitation, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, okay. All right, we got some shenanigans. We got shenanigans. We got shenanigans. There's a lot of there's like mining going on down here. Oh. There we go. Low mental health wise. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully things um, hopefully things get better for you. Hopefully things get better for you. Yeah, I've had a couple of those cases where mental health just takes a fucking dive. And sometimes there's not really a whole lot you can do, but just kind of take a step back and take a moment to yourself to try and reconnect in a way. But hopefully think, hope, hope things get better for you. Hope things get better for you. Oh. oh, that's what that is. The skeleton warriors are trading. The skeleton warriors are trading. Oh, God, they're tempting me with the thing in there. Hold on, actually. I may have a solution for this, actually. Aha! <laughs> Train against that! You boneheads! <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. <laughs> that's cheating. They didn't train for that. Hey, well, maybe they should have added that to their training regimen. <laughs> they should have added explosives to their training regimen. Oh. Here we go. It's, here we go. Just slump up against the wall there. Yeah. Have a good. Have a good. Have a good sleep. Can I? Oh wow. Yeah. That, you really can wind that up really hard. I wonder if I. Wonder how that strong that is against like. Oh, that wind up though. 
that wind up takes a bit more to get going compared to the knife. They're <laughs> uh, they're hard at work. Yeah, no, they, they, I I know that as soon as I as soon as I turned around, they were gonna try and get up my butt. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. What keys do I have? Bloody wardrobe, club, diamond, spade. Okay, because I saw a thing with a keyhole over here. Could lower these bars with the key that fits. Okay, no specific key. Hmm. Oh, but there's a holy hand grenade in there as well. Okay. Okay. Because I know as soon as I pick up that disc, shit's going to pop off. Let's see. All right. Get this first. Get this first. All right. All right. Hopefully, I don't get annihilated too quickly. All right. Time to Indiana Jones this shit. Okay. Nothing so far. So far, so good. Oh. Oh. No. No. No! The killer rabbits! <laughs> oh god, that actually hit hurt. Oh my fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, this thing is actually gonna kill me. This thing is actually gonna kill me. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Okay, you know what? Hold on. No, I have the I have the solution. I have the perfect solution. Oh. And so that the Lord brings forth the holy hand grenade and gives the instructions as such. First, thou shalt pull thy pin. Next, thou shalt count to three. Only three shall thou count, and the number thou shalt count is three. Two shall not be the number thou shalt count, unless thou shalt uh, proceed to count to three. Four is right out. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, key of the peace. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Funny enough, that one shot's for full HP. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't really even think about using it until th that the exact moment. Because, like, g like I, until I remembered, I actually had those. <laughs> oh my fuck. That is amazing. The f like, I know this game is. I know this game was already just absolutely goofy. Like. It's some of its references, and that's like even better. Hey, we got some. We got a net gain of some magnum ammo at the very least. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my fuck. That is amazing. <laughs> oh. Of all the kinds of monsters they could put in to put in the murder bunny. I know I was expecting a full on like giant rampaging beast to come after me. But yeah, no, that was actually absolutely perfect. Uh we appreciate a good Monty Python reference here. We appreciate a good Monty Python reference. Oh man. Uh, alright. Uh, the only thing is... 
Oh, okay. So that's how this works. That's how this works. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, silver disc here. And then grab that. Grab that. And the diary page. There is something evil down here. And I fear that it has taken over my mind. The whispers tell me to commit horrible crimes. To kill the others in the manor. They get louder and louder every day, and it's only a matter of time before I succumb. Forgive me, Irma. I have doomed us all. The Lord dug a little too deep in regards to what was down here. Alright. We're still pretty well stocked up, so we're still in a pretty good... Well, we're running low on shotgun rounds at the very... Um, Ran low on shotgun rounds. That's it. Oh, oh, this is oh, this is oh, this is a boss fountain. This is absolutely a boss fountain. Oh yeah, this is a boss fountain. <laughs> I think we're about coming up on the uh, final encounter here. Diary five. Everyone must die. I think I'll start with the servants that installed the wardrobe over the hole. They know too much and may warn the others. My new friends in the dungeon offered to help me with the killings. Of course, I gladly accepted. Yep, he knew he was going off the deep end, and it was only a matter of time until whatever the fuck lives down here got full control. Gonna sleep now? May our nightmares be filled with decay. <laughs> no worries, no worries, Jerry. Thank you so much for hanging out. Enjoy your lurk and enjoy your... Thanks for the lurk and enjoy your sleep. Have a good rest and pleasant nightmares. Alright. Let me see. Make sure I'm good on everything here. Uh, I got one stick of dynamite. I got two holy water... Uh, two holy waters... And I got 10 total magnum rounds. So, let's see what's see, let's see what's down here. Let's see what the cause of all this madness is. Oh, this is appropriate arena. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, Lord of the Nightmare. All right. Oh, that tracks. Oh, that's tracking. Uh, ow. Okay. Okay. Whoa, you are quick. You are. Qu oh, that is not. That is not stopping. Oh, that. Oh, that's reach. Okay, I can't shoot those. I can't shoot the energy balls. I can't shoot the energy balls. All right. Uh, let's try this. Hey, that works. Whoa, okay. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, he's pulling all the shit out. He's pulling everything out. We got satyrs too? Oh my gods. Let's see. Ow. Ow. Okay. We're still good, though. We're still good. We're still good. Ow. Oh god, reloading really fucks you up in the middle of combat. There we go. Okay, I was expecting the phase two on that fight. I was expecting the phase two. <laughs> but hey, we did it! We did it! <laughs> yeah, not that bad of an encounter. Like, I fucking super... 
stocked on health items, so that was kind of a difference maker there. <laughs> what a terrible nightmare! You're covered in sweat, and your heart is thundering in your chest as you get up from your bed. It's still the middle, middle of the night, and it will be some time before the sun rises, but you don't feel like going back to sleep. Not after that horrific nightmare. Maybe a short walk outside and some fresh air will help calm you down. Yeah, there we go. Some, uh... Yeah, okay, we can still save our game over here. Uh, don't feel like playing games right now. Oh, yeah, winning, son! We are! We actually just did! We just did... We just won! We actually did just win! <laughs> Lisa, yeah! No, oh, dude, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> King York, 1985. Thank you so much for the raid. How dare you not want to play video games? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just gotta go. Sometimes you're just not in the mood for a video. Sometimes you're not mood in the mood for the video games. <laughs> oh, Baku, how you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. And King York, thank you as well for the raid. Really appreciate it. What were you up to? How are you doing? Hope you had a good stream. Oh, Devil and Me. Okay. How is that game? Because I've heard that game is rough. I heard that game is rough, um, so I'm curious as to how your experience went with that game. <laughs> oh, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, Danable Lecter Graham, how are you doing as well? Thank you as well for swinging on by, and hope you're all having terrifyingly pleasant time zones. <laughs> oh. You going to see the new Scream film? I'm debating on it. I'm debating because I've never really been that big on the Scream series. Like, I maintain that the first Scream is probably, like, the best. And from what I understand, all the other ones that came afterward are not that great. So, I don't know. I guess it'll depend on how well received. The, I depends on the, It depends on how good the movie is, I guess. <laughs> Good game, just ended up murdering everyone. Oh, you went the chaotic route. You went the chaos route. <laughs> oh, I mean, I guess if you go that way, then yeah, you'll probably have a way more enjoyable time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad you had fun. Hmm. Heard great things about the new Scream movie, so I definitely want to see it. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm hearing a lot of people getting very excited for it. Uh,. Like, I know people are getting very excited because it actually looks like a decent, s decent screen movie. <gasps> oh. oh, hey, kitty. You're not going to chastise me, are you? Meow. Meow. Okay, it did, actually, it didn't speak to me. We're good. We're, we're good. We're not in the dream skate. Still? Oh. Huh. I yeah. I guess we're I guess we're chasing the kitty, and the red lights giving me very cause for concern. Cause they changed Ghostface. Isn't the whole idea about Ghostface is that there's a different person in each iteration, or was that not not a thing for a bit? Oh, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Hello again, stranger. Did you really think that you could escape from the nightmare? It's like I said in the beginning. No one ever escapes alive. Uh. Oh! Oh! You have awakened from the nightmare. But the real nightmare has just begun. Oh my gods. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is fine. 
<laughs> okay. So I was that I was not expecting the cat to be the antagon the actual antagonist this whole time. Wow, okay. That is a pretty fun twist. That's a pretty fun twist. Hey. Extra game modes have been unlocked and can now be accessed from the extras menu. Hey, yo, let's go. Well, that was Nightmare of Decay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. That is a pretty fun, pretty fun uh, dealio. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah, the like you can tell there's like massive. Uh, Resident Evil influences like up the wazoo like we literally just ran into a fucking regenerator <laughs> and then the game throws another curveball by throwing us the Monty Python killer rabbit <laughs> oh like this it's fun it's fun it's still it's still a horror game but it's like it's campy it's goofy it doesn't try to take itself seriously. It's aware yeah! of what it is. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Imp! Oh, <Yeah>! King! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? All of you! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my fuck! All of you! Graveyard Shift plus Imp Turn Raid! Oh my god! Oh my fuck! How are you all doing? Oh my god! Thank god! The fucking entire Graveyard Shift is here! <laughs> the entire Graveyard Shift is here! Holy shit! Oh my fuck, God! Thank you, God! Thank you all so much for the raids. Oh, jeez, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> oh my God! Because I know you were all were doing. I know you were all were doing your art, art collab. I know you were, you, you, you were all working on some art together. Hope you all had. A good time. Hope you all had a good time. Gods. Yeah, no. I, I, like, I, I'm gonna, let's do it like this. Uh, first off, Yuna Babuna, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome the to the Spooky Zone. You as well, space. Queen of the Shadows. <laughs> oh, man. Graveyard Shift at the Cemetery seems fitting. Absolutely. It was hella fun. Oh, man. No. So. For anyone that doesn't know, the Graveyard Shift is all a uh, collective of insanely fucking talented artists, and Imp is and Imp is all Imp is the intern, I I believe. <laughs> oh, it's like there's the Graveyard Shift, there's Rummy, there's Day, there's King Bone Jangles. All of them are amazingly talented artists, and Imp it Imp is the Imp turn, I believe, and he was also a super fucking talented pixel artist himself. And just check out all of them. Check out all all of them. Check out all of them. They're all incredible people, incredible creators, and they all deserve much love. Much love. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, Solomon. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Uh, we just beat. Nightmare of Decay. I suppose I, I suppose I should also do my fucking uh, spiel. I suppose I should also do my spiel since we got multiple raids in a short period of time. Ah! Mm. Excuse me. Okay. Get it together. <laughs> Welcome Raiders! I'm Sawin. I'm a Wraith VTuber and horror content creator. We just beat Nightmare of Decay, an indie style indie horror game that wears its Resident Evil inspirations on its sleeve. <laughs> it was an incredible fun, incredibly fun, it was incredibly fun, had had a lot of camp, had some good gameplay elements to it, and we just unlocked some extras. So we'll be taking a look at some of those extras 
in a bit. I also do things such as terrifying voice acting, horror story ASMR, dark wave radio streams, as well as classic horror media watch-alongs. So if you that sounds like something you would be interested in, then lock your doors, turn down the lights, make sure nothing is hiding under your bed. And I hope you have a terrifyingly fun time. <laughs> Thank you all again for the Rave Graveyard Shift. Uh, thank you so much again for the raid. Really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, glad you want to raid. Hype for Friday. Hell yeah! So for anyone that uh, may not be aware, currently uh, King Bone Jangles and myself will in fact be doing a collab this Friday at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be playing Left 4 Dead 2, and we're going to make it be making a drinking game out of the whole thing. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be chaos. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be modding my game up to an absurd degree. <laughs> uh, and like, yeah, just expect chaos and shenanigans. <laughs> expect chaos and shenanigans. Oh, uh, he did that thing. <laughs> Oh, love that. I'm glad I'm glad everyone still enjoys the thing. I'm glad everyone enjoys the thing. It's gonna be fun! Oh yeah, it's gonna be an absolute blast. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun as well. <laughs> oh, we'll, be, we'll for sure be catching that before work Friday. Yeah, hopefully you're, you'll all be able to come on by. Hopefully you'll all be able, able to come on by. Oh, oh. Yeah, look forward to that. Oh, we'll for sure be catching that Ouija thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so we beat Nightmare of Decay, and we unlocked a number of extras. And we got a dungeon escape mode. Escape from a procedurally generated dungeon. And horde mode. Survive against endless waves of, of zombies. So, I think... Hey, thank you for the hydrate! Thank you for the hydrate! Mm. 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 Uh, thank you for that. Really appreciate that. <laughs> oh, so... Uh, yeah, I think I peeked at the achievements and I heard... I did notice that there were some extra game options. So, uh, let's take a look at some of these. Let's take a look at some of these, shall we? Oh, and there's an option to disable cultists as well. Let's go ahead and do those. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, dungeon escape. I guess we'll try dungeon escape mode first. Been lurking a bit and had no uh, noticed you hadn't gotten one in a good bit. Ah, appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you. For, thanks for looking out, dicks. Oh, man. Okay. Escape from the dungeon. Instructions. You are trapped in an underground dungeon and must try to escape by reaching the surface. Ascend by leaving through the exit door on each floor. Equipment and supplies can be purchased between floors with credits earned by either killing enemies or looted from the dungeon. Clearing a floor of all enemies will grant an extra reward of 400 credits. Climb the ladder and to begin your escape. Okay, so... Yeah! What the fuck? Another raid? <laughs> Another raid? <laughs> ah! <laughs> we got another a raid! Jeez! The cemetery, cemetery. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh, many sharp teeth! Thank you so much for the raid! Also, King, no worries. They enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk, and thank you as well for the raids. Oh man. Oh many sharp teeth. Hello. How are you all doing? How are you doing? Thank you for the raid. What were you up to? Oh, Evil Within. Okay, yeah, no, it's it's been a minute since I played that game, but I but hope you had a good I hope you had fun and I hope you had a good stream. 
talk about it manic uh, manic Monday. Yeah, no fucking kidding. <laughs> no fucking kidding. Holy shit. Also, Sinnerman, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the spooky zone. <laughs> oh, shark attack. <laughs> oh. Oh, greetings to you as well. Hope you had a fun stream. Uh, I guess I, sh I guess I should do the spiel again. That was the wrong button. I guess I should do the spe do the spiel again. <laughs> uh, welcome raiders! I am Sawin. I'm a Wraith VTuber and horror content creator. We just beat the survival horror game Nightmare of Decay, which is very heavily Resident Evil inspired, and we are going to be looking at some of the bonus modes. Uh, I play a lot of horror and horror-adjacent games. I also play RPGs, fighters, and a lot of uh, indies as well. I also do things such as terrifying voice acting, horror story ASMR, dark wave radio streams, as well as classic horror media watch-alongs. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then lock your doors, turn down the lights, make sure nothing is hiding under your bed. I should ask, how do you prefer to be referred to as, like, do you prefer mini, do you prefer teeth, um, shark, is there any, like, combination you would prefer to be referred to as? Also, I'm knowing seeing the frame rates on this is not dropping, so, uh, uh, let's see, if, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm using the, uh, the, uh, the, I'm using the uh, new Sprout, the Spout 2 capture that was added to VTube Studio um, earlier today. I'm noticing like some dips where the frame rate kind of drops when it really shouldn't be. So I mean, I'm just kind of, I'm experimenting with stuff. I'm experimenting with it to just kind of see how it is. Uh, it is a game. It is one of the games of all time. <laughs> Do, yeah, no, my thoughts exactly. Also, Matthew, thank you for the posture check. Good idea. Good idea, actually. Uh, yeah, you mortals, all you mortals with actual bones and organs, make sure you check your posture as well. No shrimping, no shrimping allowed in this cemetery. <laughs> yeah, like, I played Evil Within on, I want to say, the PS3 years ago and yeah it, it 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 was in fact one of the games of all time <laughs> like i had such a like mixed experience with it back in the day and the fact that that same team would go on would make hi-fi rush which is we beat we beat hi-fi rush over the weekend and that's a fucking game of the year contender right there that same the fact that that same team is behind that game is fucking wild. <laughs> uh, but I hope you had fun. I hope you I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, okay. Okay. No weapons right off the bat. Okay. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, the fact that this is a. Uh... Okay, well, no, there's that. Okay, yeah, I don't have, I don't have an actual map. I just have these. And I don't have. Okay, okay, I have survival knife and I have the pistol. Okay, so I do have the means of defending myself. Uh, that is a stark difference. Yeah, like it. Are you like? For well, like the difference in the game, or uh, which difference are your? Oh, nice! Two lucky headshots there. Two lucky headshots. All right, might as well try and see if we can take out as many enemies as we can. There we go. And then just gotta use the knife as necessary to, because I know there's loot that can be hidden in the barrels. Between Hi-Fi Rush and Evil Within. Oh, yeah. Like that. Like just a complete shift in 
like, tone, genre, the whole shebang. And it, like, it looked good, looks amazing, it plays great, and has a lot of accessibility options as well. Like, it's kind of crazy. And it, they just fucking shadow dropped it out of nowhere. <laughs> Demon! Hello! Sam dance, Sam dance, Sam dance. <laughs> Demon, hello! How you doing? Thank you so much for resubscribing for four heckin' months. Really appreciate it. How are you doing? Thank you for swinging by, by the way. Happy hauntings. I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Uh, how have you been? How have you been? Uh, where? Oh, where is? Oh, gods! I'm hearing so many things. Uh, what's up? What is up? It is going fairly well. We're currently taking a look at some of the extra modes of Nightmare of Decay, including a procedurally generated uh dungeon escape mode. It seems. Uh, it, I believe. Okay. Whoop. Ooh, that's a good headshot. So I don't know how many floors are actually in this. That's kind of the question, I guess. Hey. So far, so good. Oh, I'm hearing something else. I'm hearing a lot of movement. Oh, there you are. Okay, like I'm trying to make sure I don't get caught from behind. Some pistol ammo. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, so yeah, so far, so good. Oh, is that the exit? I think that's the exit, actually. Yo, let's go. Got some credits. Uh, oh, there you are. Yep. Create some space. There we go. All right, all right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, right, stamina. Yeah, I, I think my biggest crit and critique. Okay, why is there? There's a lot of noises going on here. What is going on? I'm like hearing so many fucking. Oh, oh, that's why. Where did you come from? There we go. Ah, uh, okay. Gods, that's where you all, you're all you all just wandering all over the place. There we go. I'm getting pretty good at being able to, like, actually tell. Oh, wait. When the zombies are going down. So that I don't waste, waste extra ammo. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? Uh, go ahead and grab some extra credits over there. Okay. I might be taking a risk by trying to kill everything on the f on this floor, but at the same time. I think I'm doing a good job at uh, handling my ammo conservation. There we go. Hey, there we go. We got some extra pistol ammo. I think if I can, because I'm getting, because we're we're supposed to be able to get a bonus if we like kill everything on an individual floor. Which, that, which yeah, like you mentioned that, and like of course the uh, fucking loot goblin in me. Is going to be full on. Just gonna be going. Okay. 
Okay, I do have a stick of dynamite. Okay, I wonder if I can kind of loop these enemies all around in a single spot. Yeah, just come on around. Just come, bring it around town. Bring it around town. Okay. Bring it around town. Okay. Uh, better than me, I'm the queen of panic fire. <laughs> oh, like earlier in the game, yeah, that would absolutely be me. But right now, I think we're kind of in a good spot right now. Oh. Oh, you're just getting confused. Okay, they're just getting confused. Okay, if I lure them all in here. Yeah. Lure them all in here. And then I should be able to... Alright, alright. And then... Okay, yeah, we can go ahead and just kind of get you your attention as well. Because if we can just kind of get them all grouped together, then I, can be, then I can be able to get them all in a single dynamite attack. That would actually work really well. Not a thought between a lot of them, poor things. Nope. <laughs> uh, they're all just kind of... They're, they're doing their best. They're doing their best. They're doing their best. All right, where are your buddies at? Where are your buddies? There's, here's one of your buddies. Where are the others? Where are the other two? Where are the others? Where'd they go? Did they get lost? I swear, did they get lost? They got lost, didn't they? I think they got, I think they all got lost. They may have gotten lost. Oh, there's a oh, there's a bunch more over here. Oh, there's a bunch more. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, that's a special one. That's a special one. Okay. All right, hold on. Uh, set that there. All right. Go ahead. Oh, that fucked up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Oh, bye. Okay. Okay, I was kind of expecting that one with the flaming head to explode. You don't explode, do you? Do you explode? Huh. I was expecting that one to explode. <laughs> Hopefully I got the other other ones at the very least. Nope. Oh my gods, I really did fuck up that dynamite, didn't I? Jeez. I really did fuck up that dynamite throw. God damn. Okay, well I got a couple of them at the very least, so that's good. Get that on head out of here! Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's appropriate. Yeah. That's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Ooh. That's exactly how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> uh, okay, we're getting more pistol ammo. I have had so many good uses tonight with that. Yeah, you're batting a thousand with that so far. You are absolutely bad in a thousand so far. Okay. Fuck. Oh, there's a there's another buddy. Yep, friend. Sorry, I I appear I appear to have stumbled in on a three-way. Um, I know. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your three-way. Um. Look, if I I know you're probably not accepting a fourth, so there I'll just go on my merry way. Oh yeah, this one this one was especially getting getting uh getting freaky. 
Okay. Anyone still up? Anyone still around? Hello? <laughs> Give the boys a privacy. I didn't know they were gonna be in there. Like, damn. Like, I know dungeon play is, like, a pretty popular kink, but I wouldn't have expected this dungeon to have that much activity going on. Like, damn. Must be a hotbed of activity. Okay. Hey, there we go. Floor cleared. Alright, that's what I was shooting for. That's what I was looking for. Alright, now we can get the hell out. Exit. Gotta make do sometimes. That is true. That is very true. Sometimes you just gotta make things work. Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Rocket launcher! <laughs> We can get a rocket launcher? Oh my fuck. Okay. Okay. Let's see. A shotgun, magnum, submachine gun, rocket launcher, crowbar. Or we can get a mystery thing? I can't really select the mystery thing. Oh, maybe it's not unlocked yet. Might be something I have to unlock. <laughs> okay. Only one option. <laughs> oh, and the extra rocket costs an extra 50. Okay. Oh, God. You know what? Since this is the first run, let's just try to do it, do this for shits and giggles. Because I'm curious. We didn't get this in the, uh, the regular playthrough. So, <laughs> let's get a rocket launcher. Why the hell not? It's only got one use, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Uh, can the crowbar open boxes? We do have a knife for that. We do have a knife. So I can eat. Although maybe it can open boxes. Hmm. Because this thing can't open the crates, but it can break barrels. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that on, for the next floor. We'll think. We'll. Something to think about for the next floor. Right now. Should be okay. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get more pistol ammo at the very least. All right. Okay, good start. Only one direction to go in. Oh, got one shot. One opportunity. Oh, whoa. Oh, the speedy boys. Hey. Only got one shot, one opportunity. Oh. Vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. Whoop. All right. Here's you. Hello. How are you? Pretty good method down for actually keeping space between me and the zombie. It'll just take a shot, uh, shoot, step back a little bit, shoot, step back just a little bit. Oh, and like, because the zombies move slow enough, especially if you can get a stagger off like that, you can keep it, you can keep your distance from them pretty reliably. There we go. Yeah, maybe I'll get the crowbar next break just to see if it can break those boxes. Because if I do later runs of this, then it probably would come in hand. That would probably be good knowledge to have. Because I don't know if those crates have contain anything special in them or if they're just there for decoration. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, buddy. Don't worry. Don't worry, bro. I'll take this up. Oh, God, what the fuck? Oh, there's a dog. Oh, my God. Nope. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Okay. Oh, that. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're still coming. Oh, they're still coming. <laughs> 
I'll take care of the zombies you kill. Appreciate it, because these bodies are probably going to be stacking up really quick. They're stacking up really fast. And they're coming from a lot of directions. Okay. Jeez. The boss is here. The dog was the boss of the floor. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, yeah, they're they're coming. They are coming from all over. Uh Okay. Whew. Jeez. I am actually almost out of ammo. Okay, here we go. We got some extras. Okay, good. Perfect timing for that. Perfect timing for that. Jeez. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, anything else in this room? Okay. I think we're good over here. I think we're good. How much health do I have? Uh, I do not have any healing items. Well, that's going to make things interesting. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing some shit behind this door. So, uh, let's see if we can give this rocket launcher a go. I missed! I fucking missed! <laughs> oh, no! Wonderful fiend. Oh, jeez. No, I was trying to aim at the ground because I thought I could... I thought, okay, maybe if I aim towards the ground, there'll be like a splash damage thing or something like that. And it, I think it just ended up flying way further off the mark than I wanted it to. Oh, my fuck. Well, this, this run is probably done. This run's probably going to be done in a hot minute. Oh my fucking... Oh. Alright. Okay, yeah, no, there, there's more. Oh my gods. <laughs> oh no, oh, this is, this is bad. I'm going to run out of ammo. I am absolutely going to run out of ammo. Okay, we got a headshot. Nope, nope, nope. Off, 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 off. Oh, this does not stagger. Ah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. There is a method. There is absolutely a method to this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my fuck. Okay. <laughs>
Oh, and then that way you can take out those zombies. Because, yeah, oh, God, they're, they throw quite a bit at you. They throw quite a fucking bit at you. Holy shit. All right. Or not miss with the rocket launcher. <laughs> we don't talk. Let's we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> let, let, let's let's not talk about that. Let's let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> just pretend that didn't happen. That we didn't even have a pretend that we didn't have the rocket launcher in the first place. Just. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go ahead and check out Horde Mode, see how this is. Could feel the glare from here. <laughs> oh, my f oh my fuck. Alright, let's try Horde Mode. Let's try Horde Mode. See how this is. Okay. Oh, we oh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, oh, okay, we can select either the either the courtyard or the undercroft. Interesting. All right, let's do courtyard. Ah, okay. So will we start with survival knife, pistol? Ooh, it's a bit cheaper here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You know what, let's try the submachine gun. And uh, we'll get some submachine gun and shotgun because Magnum takes a bit to aim with and how many I got 50 pistol, pistol ammo uh, let's see dynamite's pretty effective and then let's see what else um, can possibly get the crowbar uh, I will get one holy water and one dynamite. There we go. I think that that's a good start. I believe that's a good start. Uh, dynamite, holy water, and I wonder if there's like a time where we may be able to get like like stock up on stuff in between. Okay, we got the devil may cry barrier there. All right, so, oh, wave one start. Oh, we're going right on into it. Oh, is this where all the enemies come out at? Okay, yeah, no. Nah. Okay, so the barriers are where all the enemies come out at. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay, some machine gun's not too bad. That machine gun is actually not too bad. All right, let's see if we can corral some of these enemies together, and then that way we can get a bigger boom. This is nice. I was actually not sure what what, how, what to expect from a horde mode, but this is actually pretty good. This is good so far. Oh, I fucking messed that up. Okay, I got I gotta get better at uh, corralling all of them together. Okay, just get them all in a, a nice little circle. Get them all in a nice little circle. All right, there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's more like it. That is more like it. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, that's that's always fun. That's always fun. Oh man, that's always fun to do. That's always fun to fun to do. Get the, maybe if you get them all in the line, the SMG will shred them. That might be something. I don't know if this pierces. I don't know if the SMG pierces. Uh, let's see. Rapid fire submachine gun has a maximum capacity of 50. I don't. It doesn't seem like it pierces. Whereas the shotgun can absolutely hit multiple enemies at once. So 
might be something to take into consideration there. Okay, only got 65 points. Let's grab some of these, some of these, and one of those. And, oh, some inst instructions. Probably should have read those first. Probably, probably should have read those first. The goal is to try to survive for as long as possible against endless waves of enemies. After defeating a wave, you must return to the safe room where you can spend credits on purchasing equipment and supplies. Credits are earned by killing enemies. The amount of credits earned for a kill vary based on the enemy type. Leaving the safe room will begin the next wave. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, submachine gun absolutely does good work against the doggos. And I imagine it would probably help with anything that's also speedy. So, probably try to see if I can keep the dynamite for, like, all the zombies. That way I can just kind of group them all together, just chuck a stick, and then just watch the fireworks go off. <laughs> Speaking of speaking of doggos, here we go. Okay. Any other doggos? Oh, one other doggo. Yeah. Okay. Burst fire. Burst fire it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You all coming out? You all coming out to say hi? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I see you all. I see you all. Alright, let's see how well we can kind of group you all together. Let's see how well we can group you all together. Anyone else coming out? Okay, I think that I think we've got all the enemies coming out that will be willing to come out at the very least. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's so satisfying. That's so satisfying. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Okay, there are more enemies coming out. More enemies do, in fact, come out as you kill them. Good to know. So how many more are going to be coming out? How many more are we going to go with Splody? How many more are we gonna explode? <laughs> that made me happy. <laughs> it's always satisfying. It's always satisfying. Oh, uh, just like I like I've talked before about how I love a good shotgun in an FPS game, but another thing I love just as much is making explosions. Making things blow the fuck up. <laughs> it's always fun. It's always a good time. It's always a good time. Yeah! Oh, we got one left. There we go. <laughs> Oh, man. In a sense, this is also pretty good because we're saving ammunition for other things as well. Because I imagine if I was trying to kill all of those zombies the regular way, I probably would have ran out of ammo a long time ago. So, get a couple sticks of dynamite. Some more shotgun ammo. Some more submachine gun ammo. Yeah, we're fucking good. We're fucking, we're peachy. We're absolutely peachy. I haven't even gotten touched yet. Love a good sniper rifle. Getting a headshot at long range is just... Mm. <laughs> I've, I, I've never really been that good with uh, sniper rifles. I just don't really have like the uh, snap... Uh, the snappy... The wrist control required to kind of make those work. Like... Sometimes I usually have my moments where I can line up a shot pretty well and be able to get, uh, get a, get a really good headshot. Most case, but that requires me to like really pay attention and take note of what I'm doing. Uh, 
Okay. Like, I occasionally play Sniper in uh, TF2, and that it requires, usually requires a bit of, like, to be really focused in. And even then, I, like, I'm not trained enough to be able to get headshots reliably. Okay. I'll just kind of try and see if we can loop all of you around bit by bit. Although, I suppose I can try to see if I can lure them all into the alley and behind the house there, but that might be a little bit trickier. That might be a bit trickier. There we go. Oh, I may have thrown it too far. Nope! Just right. Just right. <laughs> we did just right. It was just right. Oh, jeez, dog! Oh, my fuck. Ah! Dog bite my butt. Okay. Oh, and we got a fast one. Okay, yeah, no, the submachine gun is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good against the, uh, the quick buggers. Kinky. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, the quick enemies it actually works pretty pretty decently against. All right. I suppose I could also just kind of like focus on getting more shotgun and ammo as well. That might be something. Although I'm also expecting the game to try and throw a curveball at me, like maybe I'll start throwing in like the spider enemies or like maybe the killer rabbit <laughs> on a wave or two. Just kind of start throwing things, just throw, start throwing curveballs. Perfect. Yeah, the, I'm expecting the game to start throwing curveballs. Yeah, and a couple of regenerators as well, just an just to give an act additional like middle finger. If in doubt, apply shotgun to the enemy face. Oh yeah, that's why I've been trying to stock up on uh, shotgun ammunition as well, because always good to have that as a throwback, a uh, fallback. <laughs> always good to have that as a fallback. So, speaking of which, uh, let's see, pretty good on some machine gun ammo. Let's go ahead and get a health drink, just in case, and then we'll get some extra shotgun ammo, just to kind of keep that, because we'll probably start using that on, like, on some of the other enemies. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I just splashed water back in my face. Yeah. Yeah, I think if it, if it comes down to it, then we can just, I can... Depending on the enemy, yeah, absolutely pull out the shotgun. <laughs> and then I've been trying to keep the uh, pistol ammo available for, like, solitary zombies. Because the submachine gun seems to have an increased chance of getting, like, headshots. Like, full-on decapitations. Which is actually nice. Probably because of the uh, higher rate of fire. Oh, wait. Are we getting skeletons? Are we getting skeletons? Are we getting skeletons? Oh, my fuck. We're getting skeletons. We're getting skeleton warriors. We're getting skeleton warriors. Okay. Okay, yeah. It's already starting to throw curveballs. We're always, it's already starting to throw curveballs. Yeah, there's actual skeleton enemies in this game, too, that they, there was, like, only one in the main game. But at the same time, it was enough to just, to, it was, it was hiding in a fucking barrel. Well, no, actually, no, there was, like, four skeletons. There was the one that was hiding in the barrel, and then there were the three that were training, using, there were, um, working on training dummies that we just interrupted their training session on. <laughs> so that was fun. Again, explosions. 
Explosions are fun. <laughs> oh, they didn't really get as many as I was hoping for. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enemies left 15. All right. Uh, okay, yeah, no, there's absolutely gonna be more. So, there's probably one, two, actually, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten, eleven. Okay, okay, we're getting them together. We gotta get them all together. We're gonna try and see if we can get them all together. Come on, come on. All right, round them up, round them up. I need a, I need a herding dog. That's what I need. I need a dog that is trained in hurting zombies. <laughs> That's what we need. That'll make the that'll that'll make this work better. But yeah, if there's a way to like here we go. If there's a way to train a hurting dog to hurt zombies, like, I feel like that'd be pretty good. Okay. Jeez, seven left still. Oh wow, really? Uh-oh, we got another dog. Okay, five left. Okay, I'm gonna need to get some more S uh, SMG ammo. All right, we can probably pistol the rest of these. Just kind of save some ammo on other stuff. Let's see, four. Okay. Oh, yeah. As long as we keep our distance. Yeah, this can... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Please go down. Please go down. Oh, man. If I can get a couple lucky headshots, that would actually be very, very nice. Hey, thank you, Gabe. As soon as I said that, <laughs> as soon as I said that, let's go. That was good timing. That was pretty good timing. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Two more sticks of dynamite. Uh, need some SMG ammo. And then get some extra shotgun ammo. Uh, hmm. Oh, pistol ammo is actually very cheap. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I do have one holy hand grenade. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. One more thing of shotgun ammo. And then. Uh, yeah, another health drink. Another health drink might help. All right. Doing pretty good so far. I'd say we're doing pretty good so far. Getting to wave five. So, were you being serious about the killer rabbit earlier? Oh, absolutely serious. Like, there was straight, well, it, we got a warning that there was a massive beast that was coming in, that was in a cave. And was and we were advised to not engage. We were advised to, in fact, uh oh, there we go. We were advised to not fight the beast in the caves. And it turned out to be the Monty Python killer rabbit. <laughs> so that was a pretty good bit. That was a pretty good bit. <laughs> uh, caught me by surprise at the very least. Okay. <gasps> Love the Holy Grail. Yeah, so it's like I just did the fucking holy hand grenade uh, monologue and just threw it at it. And someone mentioned that apparently when you throw the holy water at the, at the rabbit, that apparently kills it in one shot. Which I'm assuming has like a direct reference to that. <laughs> So they knew what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing with that. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's great. All right. 
All right, same as before. My dad and I love to quote the holy hand grenade scene. Same, same. <laughs> like, like it's such a good scene too, because it's just, it's just absolutely goofy in all of the right ways. There we go. Spider! Oh god, it's why the spiders? Why the spider? Why why the spider? Why the spider? Why? Why the spider? Why 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 would you throw why would you throw the spider out? Why would you throw the spider out there? Why? Why would you do that? Uh no no to the no to the spooter. No to the spooters. No spooters. Uh no thanks. No thanks. Homeboy is too damn big. Yeah, no. Like, no, keep that as far away from me as possible. Keep that as far away from me as humanly possible. Okay. Got another group. Alright. Yeah, I feel like if I was to try and take all of these zombies out through normal means. I would absolutely run out of run out of aim run out of ammunition at some point. Cause it feels like the game is kinda encouraging you to like, yo, you might want to grab some explosives. You should probably grab some explosives. Yeah. Also it's just satisfying. That's just satisfying to do. It's just it's just absolutely satisfying to do. You know? Hello, my favorite Wraith VTuber. Lily, hello! How you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> oh, you do hope you're doing well. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Oh. Oh, we might actually be running into a situation. Oh, wow. There's actually way more le left still. All right. Time for the holy hand grenade. Time for the holy hand grenade, then. Everything is better with explosives. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know if I... I don't know if I would say I have this solved, because there's probably something else going on that will probably throw me for a loop. But for now, at the very least... Ah, that was a terrible throw. That was a terrible fucking throw. Oh, jeez. Recoil. Okay. Alright, let's do... Th Actually, let's do this. Let's see if I can line them up down here. Let's see if I can line them up around here. Lazy like always, so pretty fucking good. <laughs> hey, as long as you're doing well. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. That's that's how we do it. Ooh. Nice. Good headshot from there as well. There we go. Ah. Uh, that's a good way to go about it. That is a good way to go about it. Just kind of line them up along that little... Uh, little space between the house and the wall, and yeah, just light up some headshots. Popped like a grape. Exactly. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's like a mystery thing here, but I don't know what that, what that's supposed to be. Don't know what that's supposed to be. I wonder if that unlocks somewhere later on in a different later wave. Grab some dynamite. Uh, yeah, we'll grab some pistol ammo, grab some shotgun ammo, grab some SMG ammo. There we go. And one more stick of dynamite, just in case. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's get some extra more SMG ammo. There we go. That way we're pretty well stocked on that. All right. Man, I'm surprised how well this is going so far. I was expecting this to be a lot more difficult. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a lot more difficult. <laughs> but we're already getting uh, to wave six. Although, watch, this is probably going to be... Now that we're past wave five, this is probably going to be where shit starts getting getting wild. This is probably where shit's going to start getting wild and silly. Okay, we already got... We already got the skeleton warriors coming in. We got the spooters coming in. What else is gonna... Oh, we got the satyrs. The satyrs are in. The satyrs are in. That's what they're mixing it up with. That's what they're mixing it up with. There we go. They're mixing the satyrs in. Okay. I think as long as we, like, single out... The specialized enemies first before clearing out the zombies. And I think that's k kind of that'll put us, up, put us in a good area. Pass. <laughs> Not a fan of satyrs. Not a fan of the satyrs, the satyr enemies. Uh, all right, let's try and see if we can loop you all around. Same as. Oh, not those satyrs. Okay, do you prefer a particular kind of satyr? Uh, any particular kind of satyrs you prefer? Out of curiosity. You all okay? You all doing okay? Uh. There we go. Just kind of use that. Whoa, okay. Doggo getting on my butt. Skeleton. Skeleton. Skeletons. Human heads preferred. Oh, you just don't like the uh, goat. The goat head. Okay, I can understand that. Oh, oh, oh. Bad doggy. Bad dog. Yeah, like yeah, singling out the special enemies before taking on the zombies. Seems to be working out pretty well. I see you over there. I sees you. I sees you over there. I need to work on my accents. Holy shit! Oh, look at you over there! I went to get racket, racket, racket clothing. You look like you rolled around in pigsty. <laughs> All right. Let's see, 18 left. We can do that. Uh, go ahead and pop up. You want an accent practice? Yeah, I really need to. Well, I took a voice acting class on accents, and it kind of exempl. It kind of really made clear like which accents I could do and which accents I fully need work on still. Whoa! Hi. Hello, puppy. I'm sorry I had to shoot you in the face, but you were trying to you were gonna try and bite my you were gonna try and bite my dick. I would not appreciate that. I do not appreciate having my dick bitten on. Unless it's unless it's in a, in a sexy way. Unless it's in, unless unless it's in a sexy way and not by a zombie dog. Preferably not by a zombie dog. <laughs> Okay, we got nine left. Just finished Pizza Tower. Last few levels were a bit of hell, but the final boss felt satisfied. I need to get to Pizza Tower. I need to get to that at some point, because everyone's like, everyone's really singing that game's praises, and I keep, I've been seeing bits and pieces of it popping up for the past couple years now, I think. And it's just like, I really should take a get get that game sometime but I just have so many other things on my plate right now like so many things 
so many things on my that need to get to at some point. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, jeez. I lost my balls. Prepare say goodbye to yours. <laughs> I gotta know, can you do a southern accent? Because I've yet to hear a VTuber I know do a southern accent, unless they already have one. Well, you see there with the southern accent, you kind of have to do a little bit of a southern drawl there. Kind of helps if you have some uh, Midwestern family folk that might help you get a bit of a hang of how to do that. Also listen to a lot of Foghorn Leghorn growing up with all them all Looney Tunes cartoons. <laughs> I, I think I can... I, think, I, I feel confident in my southern accent, at the very least. Well, you see, son, I say, I say! <laughs> uh, boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. <laughs> uh, Benoit Blanc, is that you? <laughs> uh, thank you, for, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, because I know there's some people that go, like, really overboard with the southern accents. I usually try to keep it up, but keep it Yes, loose. go. Kill all the dogs. <laughs> Corey, I, look, look, I know how you feel about pup, about dogs, but hey, there, we, get, we can't kill all of the dogs. We can't kill all of the dogs, you know? Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, let's get some... Shotgun. Didn't even use the SM SMG a whole lot last time. Uh, let's see. Uh, could probably grab a crowbar, but I'm having too much fun just blowing everything the fuck up. <laughs> uh, let's get an extra health drink. And... Uh, yeah, we'll get another... Get another one of those. Uh, I got... Three. Uh, let's see. Um, grab some extra SMG ammo. Uh, extra bit of shotgun ammo. And then grab some pistol ammo. And then one more stick of dynamite. Just in case. Just in case. My friend does a horrible redneck southern accent on purpose. Hurts me. Oh, gee. <laughs> okay, like the of the the full the full on. Well, da, well, aren't you da, darn tootin'? <laughs> uh, well, look and see what we have here. Woo wee! <laughs> uh, uh, oh man. Yeah, it's like I think I think in terms of accents that I can confidently do in some respects. Um Southern is definitely up there. I can also do a bit of a fantasy that fantasy English that you usually see in mo a lot of your a lot of role playing games. Those are usually fairly easy to accomplish in some capacity. It's like a British accent, but a bit more reserved. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta give an extra level of, got get that extra level of. Oh, jeez, hold on. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> Not Prospector Sam. <laughs> oh. Uh, what else can I do? Oh yeah, I can do a little bit of the what do you, how do you say the French accent to some degree. I have a little bit of trouble rolling my R's, but I can still manage to find some of the some of the accents that work well with it. No, actually, that kind of dipped a little bit into German there. <laughs> it's a bit of a learning process. It's about you kind of you kind of have to learn. You kind of have to. Practice to learn what you can do on uh, what comes to you a bit more naturally and which ones you need to try a bit harder on to be able to nail. Uh, how was that? Hey, that 
was pretty good. That was a pretty good spread there. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Uh, how we doing? How we doing? Uh, this I can do is tone down or play up my own accent. Sometimes I can tone it down well enough. Yeah, sometimes toning it down is more appropriate, unless you're going for like a super, a super over-the-top caricature. Uh, and those instances are usually pretty rare. Like, you would have to be, like, doing a specific, like, cartoon or something like that where the accent is, like, going over, going, playing the accent up is required. Been mixing Pokemon for a while, and let me say, Lopani has some good fusions. I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask about those fusions. Yes, I have seen those those pictures. I have seen, I have in fact seen that, seen that art. Seen those, uh, Lopani art pieces. They're definitely done in very specific ways to exemplify very specific features. <laughs> I return! Ya winning? Pretty handedly, actually, so far. Like, so far this has been... Oh, wait, hold on. We got another Skelemans. We got another Skelemans. So, just gonna loop all of these around. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't want to say that I've got this salt, but at the same time, like, we got a bit of a pattern going here. We got a bit of a reliable pattern going so far. There we go. Shotgun through the shield. Yeah, we've got a bit of a reliable pattern going on so far, and it's kind of surprising. It's kind of surprising. Okay, we got... Let's see if we can loop these all over. Okay. This might work. Yeah! There we go. Okay. And see who comes out. Yeah, I... I don't know. I I'm I don't want to jump the gun and say that I've got that I've essentially solved the game mode, but at the same time, this is going a lot way smoother than I would have expected it to. I wonder if there's a Oh okay, I don't think there's a way to really like stop if like save my progress or anything like that. I wonder if I can do it in the middle of a wave. Cause like, yeah, this is a... Uh, it's getting a little goofy. It's getting a little goofy. <laughs> I was uh, was expecting a bit more of a challenge. Mimikyu turns her into a demonic ragdoll. Ooh, I actually like that. I actually like that idea. I actually like that. What's that? Is it like a? Is it? it uh, I've been seeing some people doing the Pokemon fusion stuff lately. So is that like a ROM hack? Let's do this. Is that like a ROM hack or something? Because I've seen some people do it, other people doing it. And it seems like a ROM hack. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! Oh, I fucked up. Oh fuck. Oh, they're moving too much. They're moving too much. Okay. That ah, fuck. Oh, my hubris. Oh, my hubris. Oh, my hubris kicked in hard there. <laughs> my hubris kicked in hard. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Mm. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, it's a fan game. Ah, okay, okay. Never mix Jinx and Snorlax. No, I can already see that. I can already see that combination. I can already see that being a thing. I just have a thicker, ac uh, thicker accent in certain situations, like when I'm scared or angry. Ah, okay. So I know a couple other uh, streamers 
that have like particular accents and when they get like scared or angry or something that that's when the accent just co comes out full stop <laughs> so i know exactly uh what that's all about oh uh, let's see so we got some submachine gun ammo here we go get some we'll get a fourth stick of dynamite here and then pop a health drink there Actually, I can get a help first aid kit. Um, there we go. What is this supposed to be? It feels like that's supposed something that's supposed to unlock at some point. Although I, th I suppose I can probably, if I get far enough, I can probably get the rocket launcher like easily if I just save up enough. But I've been trying to keep everything on. Uh, uh, am I'm trying to like keep it all towards ammunition and shit. You know. Uh, let's see. Boop. One there. One there. Yeah, we'll get a couple more there. There we go. This should do. Gonna call it a night, so I hope the others keep the hydrate in check for me. Hope the rest of the stream goes well, too. Thank you so much for hanging out, dicks, and thank you so much. Thank you for the hydrates. Thank you for the hydrates. Really appreciate it. You have a good rest and pleasant nightmares. All right, where are the doggies? Love to play a little game where I take two Pokemon and look for a custom sprite. Ah, is that a thing that some pe sometimes exists? Like something that was specifically made for that particular fusion? That'd be interesting. Like if they went it, like if they had the forethought to actually have a custom sprite made for like particular fusions like Jinx and Snorlax ah okay okay interesting interesting that's actually a surprising uh, surprising that I would imagine that requires a good bit of extra work there so that's actually very impressive that's very impressive eh. Alright, just gonna corral them all up, all up, like that. God, that is just always satisfying. That is always satisfying. Oh, the satyrs are coming in. The satyrs are coming in. Yeah, good headshot there. Good headshot there. You can even double up and get cool guys. Ooh. So you can just keep mixing, like, as much as you want until you get a combination that you're satisfied with. Is that what I'm getting? That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I may have to look into that. Uh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, just kind of... Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, just kind of loop. Every God's like this feels like cheesing it in a way, but at the same time, like it feels like it feels like this mode was designed for this particular kind of tactic. It feels like it was designed for this tactic simply because of just how many zombies that you have to contend with. Oh, I meant double. You double up like Radita and Radita make a rat key. Oh, that kind of double up. Oh, oh, really? So it doesn't just turn into a Raticate. Huh. That is interesting. Yeah, I would have figured that you would have just gotten the Raticate by doing that kind of trying to do that. That's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Huh. All right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just kind of get everyone around. Everyone get in the mosh pit. Everyone get in the mosh pit. Get in the mosh pit, everyone. Jeez. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
There we go. I'm always worried. I'm getting... I get worried that I mess up the throw. There we go. Oh, we got... We got... We got speedsters. There we go. Oh, God. Multiple... Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, one more speedster. Okay. I got... I got caught. I got my butt caught. I got caught on the wares. I got caught on the wares a bit, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't. Surprisingly, didn't take that much damage. Oh fuck! Okay, we got a regenerator. We got a regenerator. There's a regenerator on the field. The shit's okay. Shit's getting bad. Shit's getting bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, now there's a problem. Now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. Oh my god, he's still up! He's still up! Gregory Ghoulish! Ah, god! No, 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 no! Oh god! Oh fuck! 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 Oh yeah! I, yep. As soon as the fucking regenerator comes in, shit gets shit gets bad. <laughs> Gregory Coolish, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the spooky zone. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you just don't stop. You just don't stop. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, no. I gotta prioritize. I gotta try get the regenerator. I gotta do as much damage to the re regenerator as possible. Okay. There we go. Okay. Woo hoo hoo. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, no. As soon as I saw the regenerator, I'm like... <laughs> and now the headshots are coming in. Yelp! Oh. There we go. Whew. Yeah, no, as soon as I saw the regenerator coming down, I was just like, oh, fuck, okay, shit's getting real. Shit's getting real now. <laughs> uh, Hexy, how you doing? Thank you so much for swinging on by. How you been? How have you been? Uh, it's good to see you. Hope you have had a good weekend, and I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Oh... <laughs> uh, Get another first aid kit. Uh, let's see. Grab some pistol ammo. There we go. Make sure we're stocked up on that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Uh, and eh, we got a good amount of shotgun rounds still. Oh man. Nighttime, so I'm just relaxing in the graveyard. Hey, <laughs> uh, appreciate appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate you hanging out. How have you been? I think it's been a bit since uh, last seen you. Hope you've been doing well. Oh, uh, face, face with no revolver. I don't really care for the re how the revolver works, cause it like you have to hold down the fire button to get the shot off. Uh, and I'm not really big fan of that, cause not only do you have to like stand and stand in place to make sure that the targeting reticule turns down, so it makes your shot more accurate. You also have to hold it for like a solid second before the fire even for before the before it even fires. So, not really. I don't really uh, jive with that. So that's kind of why I've been focusing on like shotgun shells, dynamite, and SMG just to help take out the speedy, speedy enemies. Oh, so let's see. Got health drink still, pistol, pistol ammo, shotgun, shotgun ammo. Okay, I 
think we're good for the moment. One more thing is shotgun ammo just in case. Two more actually just in case. Uh, that way you get three full clips worth. And some more submachine gun. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five. There we go. That'll do. Remember how it works in this game. Fuck that gun. Yeah. It's weird. It's powerful, but yeah, it's a little unwieldy. Been a busy bee, but I try to come by often to show my support. I'm glad. I'm glad you swing. Out. I'm glad you come by when you can. I'm glad. You oh my God! Why? Why the spooter? Why the spooter? Oh, and the skeletons. And the skeleton. Okay. And the satyr. And the satyr. What the fuck? Oh no. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Shit's g uh, and we got the armored enemy, and we got the armored enemy. Okay, yeah, no, uh, it, 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 it's popping off. It's popping off. It's popping off. <laughs> it's starting to pop off. Uh. Okay. Whew. Okay. Good thing I stocked up on fucking shotgun ammo. Good thing. Good thing. Good. Good thing. Good thing. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. 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 Looks like something. Nope. No spider. No spiders for me. I'm good. Oh yeah. Nah. The spiders are definitely the most concerning. But at the very least, we can still do this. That's still good. That's still good to do. Oh. We got the puppers. Okay. Ooh, it took a leg off that time. Okay. I think we're managing. I think we're managing a bit more now. Uh... Gods, yeah, no, they really do just throw a shit ton of zombies at you. Would rather face the undead than deal with giant spiders. I'm in the same boat. I'm absolutely in the same boat. Uh, like, even the naked zombies. Even the naked zombies are preferable to deal with than the giant spiders. Magikarp makes the funniest guys imaginable. Oh man, I can I can only I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Uh Yeah, I can only imagine the stuff you can make with Magikarp fusions. Okay. That was a quick that was a quick boy. Uh what else? Anyone else coming in? Any other unique ones coming in? Nope. Nope. Woohoo! Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Alright, I got three bits of dynamite left. I got three things of dynamite left. Let's have fun with this. Let's have fun with this, shall we? Let's have some fun. Does this game have multiplayer? It does not have multiplayer, unfortunately. But apparently, this... I, ooh, there we go. Got the whole crowd that time. But it does have some... It's not very long... It doesn't take that long to beat the main game. And then you get some bonus game modes afterwards. So there's definitely some replayability going on with this. Oh! Ow! Fuck! Fuck. Oh my gosh, so we got a fucking arrow user now. Alright. Get the you out. Oh, you are just gonna be an- Ah, fuck! Stop. Stop. Ow. No bitey. Oh my gods. Oh, that arrow. That arrow user is gonna be an absolute pain in the dick. 
that arrow user is going to be an absolute pain in the, pain in the dick. Okay, let's do this. Whipping Gray would love to play this with a group. Yeah, <laughs> I can admit. I wonder if they may add. Wonder if they can add multiplayer to this somewhere down the down the line. Like if they can make a multiplayer mode for this game that like actually works. Like imagine Resident Evil Five multiplayer, but actually functional. There you are. Uh, this might be... Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's new! I didn't even know you could do that! I didn't even know you could crawl! Huh! Never seen that! I didn't even know they... I didn't know the zombies were capable of crawling! I did not know that! Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Learned something new. We learned something new about these zombies. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can get you loop around a little bit better. This will do. There we go. And then try and see if we can close the gap a little bit. Because you don't have a melee weapon, do you? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh. There we go. There's that. Alright. Whoop. Alright. Yeah, I'll take you I'll use this as cover. I'll use the house as cover as long as I can keep the remaining zombies in view. There we go. Ah, fuck. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at that. Okay. Let's go in. Oh, yeah, because you don't like getting close. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they hate it when you get close. They hate it when you get close. Okay. Starting to get a little tricky. But, hey, we made it to wave 10. We made it to wave 10. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, Let's see. Definitely get more shotgun ammo. Alright. I'll do. Uh, reload this. There we go. And let's see. One more just in case. Another one of that. And. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think about what else I can get. Because I want to get that eventually, but that's also a, a hefty investment in its own right when I kind of already have dynamite on hand. <laughs> hmm. Plus, I'm afraid I'm going to fuck up the rocket launcher shot again. I'm afraid of fucking up the la rocket launcher shot. Um, let's go. Yeah, just get some extra of that. Um, yeah, crowbar is kind of eh. We'll love to play this. Maybe even play it with you if that's okay. Like, if this had multiplayer, then yeah, I'd absolutely be down to do it and play this with another person. But, unfortunately, it doesn't have it right now. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, I th I mean, I think I'm starting to get, and get an idea of what we need to do for, like, going forward. I just gotta be a little bit more mindful about what all is happening, you know? Uh, there we Do that. All right. Wave 10. Just got to get in a bit, good starting position there. Yeah, 
yeah, starting over here at the moving over here at the start seems to help because it helps get like these enemies, for example, in good view. Oh gods, yeah, the oh the knights. The knights are becoming a problem. Oh my god. Nope. Oh my god! Oh my gods. Oh that was that was quick. That was yo oh, jeez. The knights are a problem. The knights are a problem. Okay. Yeah, the knights are a major problem. Okay, there we go. Whew. All right. Gods, yeah, no, that fucking almost went south immediately. That almost immediately went south right out of the gate. The armor sure looks new. <laughs> they make sure to polish them. Even when you're an undead knight, you gotta make sure your armor is in pristine condition. Otherwise, you just look like an undead peasant instead. Alright, come on. Is it me or are the zombies getting faster too? It feels like the zombies are getting a little bit faster. Oh my fuck! Oh why? There's the equalizer. There's the equalizer. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> so that might be the might be where you get the magnum at. That would probably be where you get the magnum. <laughs> Cuz the magnum does stagger him. Oh, okay. Well, now we know. Now we know. <laughs> Hexy, thank you for the headpats. Thank you for the headpats. <laughs> No, I saw that motherfucker coming in. And I'm like, oh gods, please let this shotgun blast knock him back at the very least. And no, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. <laughs> oh. Needed some comfort. Oh, and Pinky. Pinky. Pinky found the button. Pinky found the button. <laughs> There you go. Pinky found the button. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I I know I posted over the weekend that I didn't have any natural booba to offer, but I do have this booba. We I do have this booba. I do have this booba. <laughs> so enjoy, you filthy degenerates. <laughs> oh, jeez. We got through got through ten waves. So that's not, got to ten waves, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oh man. Oh any other extras that we unlocked by any chance? Uh right click to consume. Uh three notes. Okay. Um I think there was something else here that we could uh, oh, and we could unlock as well. Uh, let me see. Eight out of ten boobies needs more jiggle. Okay, yeah, no, that's the only thing I have. I don't really have access to on this. Like they don't really jiggle, unfortunately. <laughs> Staring respectfully, ish. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah, there was something about. Uh, let's see, survive past wave 10, uh, any difficulty, okay, yeah, there's supposed to be, like, a randomizer mode, I believe, I wonder if we could start this, 
Oh, okay, it just starts at normally. Okay. Okay. There was like, there's an achievement that talks about a randomizer mode, so I think maybe you have to beat the game on the hard to unlock that. That might be how that works. Uh, oh, wait, what? Knife only, melee only, no sprint, no healing, no save. Oh, okay, those are like the conditions I'm in right now, I guess. Or, unless, or melee only, no sprint. Like, what are those options? What are those? Uh, or maybe it's just like the status I'm in right now. Uh, game looks like something I played in PlayStation. Oh yeah, it's absolutely it's designed to look like an old PlayStation game for sure. Like it's kind it's designed to channel like PS One, Resident Evil, and Silent Hill and those particular kinds of games. <laughs> uh. Bikini hot tub ASMR stream win. <laughs> oh man, that's fancy content right there. That's fancy content. <laughs> oh, but yeah, this is fun. This is fun. Like no, absolutely, I would absolutely recommend checking this game out. Um, if you enjoy like old school, like old school survival horror style games, um. And it's like it's up it's it's campy it's silly it's over the top it has a couple of a couple of good spooks in this in it as well and yeah it absolutely has some wild references so I highly recommend this game uh so and I guess if you get the I guess to unlock the randomizer you probably have to beat the game on the hard mode which is probably significantly more difficult more than likely but we beat it in like what what was it three hours four hours let me see uh, yeah, we beat it in just over three hours, so it's pretty. That's pretty. That's a pretty short, uh, short but enjoyable experience. <laughs> and then you got a bunch of other game modes on top of that, so that's always something. Oh, no, that's always good. You get a pretty good amount of con. You got a pretty good amount of bang for your buck there. <laughs> you get some pretty good bang for your buck. Oh man. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed watching that bit of. The, watching those uh, spooky shenanigans. <laughs> but I believe we should go ahead and get ready to start calling it a night. Let's go ahead and hop on over here, here real fast. There we go. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, would re I recommend that game. I would absolutely recommend that game. It's a relatively short, fun, short experience, but it's a fun one. It's a fun one. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, as far as the rest of the week goes, I mentioned earlier, this Friday, we'll be playing Left 4 Dead 2 with, uh, King Bone Jangles of the Graveyard Shift crew, and, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, like, uh, some, there's gonna be some drinking shenanigans, there's gonna be, I'm, like, at least on my end, like it's gonna be heavily fucking modded to look absolutely as absurd as humanly possible, <laughs> and it's just gonna be a fun time. And then uh, Saturday uh, is gonna be busy because I'll be part of a do I'll be part of a Devour collab in the morning, uh, where we look at the new Devour map, and then later on in that evening for a regular stream. We'll be getting started on Fatal Frame 4 because that comes out this week. <laughs> so definitely a lot of stuff. It's like it's gonna be a wild ass fucking weekend. It's gonna be a wild weekend. So I hope you all be able to come on by for to take part in some of the spooky shenanigans. Oh yeah, Midnight's woken up from her. Sp Midnight's woken up, so she's telling me it's about time to close things down as well. <laughs> My other cat just woke up, and she's going to be trying to get my attention. So we'll go ahead and close things here. So for the people that are here, that are new here, uh, I normally have an outro sequence that I play while I look for someone that we can raid. So feel free to stick around, and we'll see if we can find someone to send some spooky vibes to. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, until next time, thank you for watching, 
Thank you for hanging out. Don't forget to take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Respect the booba. Respect the booba. <laughs> the booba requires respect. <laughs> oh, what if I should see about looking into a femme model? Would people want that? Would people want, want, want a femme model? model? I wonder if I can set, um, set up a donathon for that. I wonder if I can set up a donathon for a femme model. That's something to think about. <laughs> Until next time. Thank you all for hanging out. Rest well. A thousand nightmares. I had one to say fuck. misguided at all. I know your heart. It is filled with darkness, even though you are curiously attractive for a fish man. I don't know about it. I just don't know. Oh, I kick ass for the Lord! Yeah.